So this light reveal animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now first we are going to create a torch so it's actually quite easy all you have to do is just simply select this rectangular tool and just click and drag and just create a small rectangle something like that let's enable the fill and I'm going to set this to white now after that we are ready to draw the shape or the torch so for that we can just simply enable proportional grid and after that I'm going to like select this and let's align it to the center using the align panel if you're not able to see the align panel you can go to windows and from here you can enable it after that I'm going to like place it somewhere around here and we are ready to draw our light so for that we can select this shape tool and after that just simply click on this point then you can just click over here and then click to this point and then click back so here you can see we have this sort of thing now once you have done this we can probably change its color so i'm going to like make it yellow but it's completely up to you can like have whatever color of your light perfect also we will place this at the bottom like that now we are going to like disable the proportional grid now we want this light to move with our torch so for that we can just simply select this light and let's parent it to this torch perfect now we are ready to animate this out so first i'm going to like select this light and let's press and let's search for path and in the beginning i'm going to like close this up so for that we can add a keyframe and let's just move it like far away and after that we can like move these two very close to each other so that the light will like probably disappear you can probably zoom in something like that so here you can see we are not able to see any light now we can do one more thing let's move this keyframe ahead now if you are able to see a very thin line then you can play around with the opacity as well which we can do later on so here we have our torch now our next step is to like animate this out so first i'm going to like place it somewhere around here now let's place it down below let's press r for rotation add a keyframe let's press p for position let's add a keyframe let's press u now here we have the torch. now in the beginning i'm going to like place it somewhere around here and also i'm going to like rotate it to this angle now let's move somewhere around one and a half second i'm going to like move it to the top like that and let's just rotate it like this now we can select this press f9 to ease the keyframes now let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph and also i'm going to like change it to look like that so here you can see we have the torch and now it is going up after this point we can like make it come down so probably let's add a little bit of more rotation and let's move somewhere around here we can like place this little bit below and let's just move it down like this so here you can see we have this again we can play around with these two keyframes as well so let's just zoom in and let's select everything press f9 and let's change the graph to look something like that so here we have the slide and it goes back and after that i want this to like move a little bit down like this and let's just rotate it up something around here now we want this light to be visible as well so for that we can animate its path so let's select this press u and here we have these keyframes now as the light is moving we can like start it appearing from somewhere around here so you can see as it is moving so somewhere around here it will start opening up and we can maybe like move it a little bit more ahead so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue I want this to be like a little bit down and we can like make it not open at this point and after that somewhere around here let's move it like a little bit up we can have this light opening up something like that again we can like select this and let's make it closer you can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to like change it to look something like that 
So here you can see we have this light and after that we can like make it look down. So for that we can play around with this. Something like that. Again, it's up to you. We can like make it little bit down below. And let's just select the keyframes. Let's press F9 and let's change it to look something like that. So here we have the torch and it goes up. And after this point, we can like move it down below like that. And we can like move it to this point. Perfect. Let's go to the graph editor again. Let's play around with the keyframes. So here we have this animation. So it goes up and it goes down. After this point, we can like have it like go down completely. And let's just rotate it up and let's go down completely like this. So now we can play around with this. But first, let's add our text. So for that, we can select this text tool and it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. Let's type find me and I'm going to like set its color to black. Let's place it over here. So you can see that it will be visible only when we have this light because the color of this and the background is pretty much the same. So let's just pick some points. So here you can see we have this text. Now if you want, you can play around with its font. You can like place it wherever you like. Let's place it over here. And here we have this. Now at this point, we can have our path open up. So now at this point, we can like make it open up a little bit more. So for that, we can again select this. And first I'm going to like move it far away. And let's move it down. Let's move this up sort of like this and as we are moving over here we can like make it completely fill the screen like that so now you can see we have this sort of light but there is one more thing you can see that this region is like there is a black cutout over here so we can fix that by simply moving it like that so after that we can just select this keyframes press f9 and let's just play around with the curves i'm going to like tweak it to this and these one we can like make it like that perfect so here we have our final animation here we have this torch perfect now again if you want you can play around with the easing of these as well you can like make it however you want so I just want these keyframes to be like that. So here we have our final animation. Now there is one more thing. Let's say if you have a background. So let's create a background and I'm going to like quickly change its color to let's say this. And if I place it at the bottom, you can see that right now we are able to see our text, but we don't want to like actually see it. So we can fix that by simply selecting this. And let's press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now I'm going to like place it at the top. Now we can select this and I'm going to like change its track map to this layer. Now if you're using the older versions, then you won't have this pick whip or these layer names. Instead, you will have track mat, alpha mat, all of these sort of things. So for that, you can just simply place this shape layer on top of the text layer and change it to alpha mat. So here you can see now it won't be visible till we have this opening up like that. So there is one last thing. You can see that we have this very thin line over here we can get rid of it by simply selecting this let's press t for opacity let's add a keyframe let's move like one frame behind and i'm going to set this to zero so now if i press play you can see we won't be able to see that line in the beginning and here we have our final text so this is how you can create this light torch sort of animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.